on behalf of the Dazisan and Mission of the Dazis of Lagos Anglican Communion, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibu Lumakaye, I welcome you to this 12th day of March, which is the 14th day of our intensive study on the theme for the year 2020, Kingdom Manifestation. Please join us for a daily study in the closer parish of the Diocese of Lagos to you. Since the Ash Wednesday, we have been systematically looking at various sub-themes such as the place of self-denial in the kingdom manifestation, understanding the kingdom, activating the kingdom, characteristics of the kingdom. And now we've started on manifestation of the kingdom since Monday 9th. And today we shall take a look at one of the ways that we are to manifest God's kingdom. Our focus today is the fact that we are the salt of the earth. Our text is Matthew Gospel chapter 5 verse 13. You are the salt of the heart, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing, but to be thrown and trampled underfoot by men. Salt as a seasoning is a sweetener and preserver. Without salt in a soup, it becomes tasteless. And when we fail to put salt to preserve things, they ended up decaying. And when decayed setting, it is no longer useful. Our text says that we are the salt of the heart. Believers will be the salt of the heart when it possesses in itself salt. You must have salt in you. Jesus speaking in Mark chapter 9, verse 50 said, Salt is good, but if the salt loses its flavor, how will you season it? Have salt in yourself and have peace with one another. End of quote. Without salt in you, you can never be salt of the earth. This is a secret of how every believer can be a salt wherever he or she is found. From the salt in you, you speak out to others. From the salt in you, you release salt into other people's life and ways. In Ephesians 4, verse 20, Paul said, Let no corrupt words proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that I may impart grace to the hearers. The salt is the edifying words and grace that you minister to your hearers. It is important that you speak and you release salt to your hearers. In similar ways, Paul writing to the Colossians in chapter 4, verse 6, encouraged them to let their speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt. I repeat, seasoned with salt, that they may know how they ought to answer one another. The salt in you will help you to answer all men aright. Your words, your deeds, and actions must draw people to Christ. This is how to manifest the kingdom. Someone once said that the acronym SALT, S-A-L-T, is save a life today. As a salt of the earth, you must save the earth from the impending doom. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Preserve souls for the kingdom. And you must touch life all the time. Anywhere you are found, you must touch life. As you listen to me this day, how are you sweetening your environment? Let me ask you, as a believer, are you affecting them where you are with the kingdom? How many lives have you touched as a salt of the earth? The present situation in the world is because the believers who are supposed to be the salt of the earth have lost the power of the salt in them. However, you can return to God at this Lenty season by rededicating your life to God. Can you remember the zeal, the joy, the hope in you when you first met the Lord? Return now. Remember you are the salt of the earth. You cannot mix with the world. Your purpose, your purpose is to sweeten the earth. And by this, you will manifest the kingdom of God. Have a Jesus free day. Let us pray. 
Father, we thank you for this word. Release your hand upon us and give us the grace to remain a salt of the earth and sweeten our environment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for staying connected today. Don't forget to like and share this video. Follow us on our social platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Dice of Lagos. On Twitter at Lagos and Dowsis. Please subscribe to this channel, Lagoon TV. Also hit that bell icon in front of the subscribe button to get notified anytime a new video is posted on the channel. On behalf of the Lord Bishop and Mission of the Diocese of Lagos, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibeluma Kaye, I'm your privileged servant, the Venerable Ni Ageshi, serving as St. James's Anglican Church, Aoyaya, Ibejuleki, Lagos. God bless you.